Disaster strikes, a massive meteorite hurtled toward them, but fortunately, it only grazed the ship as it passed by. The family quickly retreated inside the vessel. Two days later, the sea calmed down, but the sight outside was even more shocking. In just two days, the water had completely disappeared, leaving an endless, dry seabed stretching as far as the eye could see. The only proof they weren't hallucinating was the fish and shrimp left on the deck. The situation grew more desperate as their food and water supplies were only enough for a few more days. Archie released a balloon as a signal, hoping someone might pass by and notice them. Meanwhile, Reggie continuously tried to send out distress signals via the radio and eventually received a response. The reply explained that the catastrophe was caused by a magnetic field reversal, and based on the current information, the Earth's magnetic field might reverse again in seven days. This would cause the seawater to surge back, and they were warned to seek higher ground for safety. However, Reggie and his family had nowhere to hide. He asked Archie to join them at his place to take shelter, and Archie agreed. As they prepared to leave, Reggie noticed a man and a dog approaching. He quickly grabbed a water bottle and went to meet them. The man eyed the water bottle suspiciously, and Reggie, thinking he wanted a drink, handed it over. The man took the bottle and drank greedily, but after finishing the water, he suddenly knocked Reggie to the ground and stabbed him with a knife, piercing his body. The man didn't spare Anna either, chasing after her with the knife. Anna was injured in the shoulder but managed to get on the boat and lock the door. She then hid the two children in a storage compartment. The man finally broke through the door and began frantically searching the boat. Anxious and terrified, Anna dared not make a sound. 